Who knew that Joe Gomez was an Arsenal supporter? I didn't. Maybe some of you did, but I didn't. I found out when uh, Arsenal made an offer for him. It was around 30 million with some ads on and he really wanted to join them. So uh, I had to promise him I'll let him go at the end of the season if Arsenal, of course, still wants him. Hey, welcome back to Liverpool on FM24. Now, this is getting embarrassing. I said we'll have an Arsenal game last episode, then this episode. Well, it's not gonna happen because once we qualified to the fourth round of the FA Cup, the game against Arsenal got postponed once again. So today, I guess we're gonna be playing Manchester City away from home. I'm gonna skip the second leg against Cardiff because we destroyed them 7-0 in the first leg. QPR in the fourth round and we'll end uh, the episode with this game away at Chelsea. Now we do have some results to go through. All victories, a 4-0 home against Nottingham Forest, Gravenberg, Soboslai with a brace and Nunez. A 6-1 victory away at Crystal Palace, Soboslai, Nunez and Gakpo, each of them got a brace. A 2-0 victory against Brentford, Gakpo and Nunez. 4-1 victory away at Burnley, Soboslai, Gakpo, Nunez and Gavi. 2-0 uh, in the third round of the FA Cup away at Walsall, Gomez and Gravenberg. 7-0 in the semi-final of the League Cup, first leg, home against Cardiff, Matip, Pendok, Gravenberg with a brace, Curtis Jones, Elliot and Gakpo. And we end with a 2-0 victory home against Brighton in the league, Nunez and Gavi. Of course, we're still at the top of the league. Still on equal points with Manchester United, but this time with two games in hand. Now, let's get to the game away at Manchester City. Probably the toughest game uh, so far. We have our best 11 available to us. I'm going to use Gravenberg and Gavi will be on the bench. Actually, it's not the best 11 because I have to play Diaz on the right. Mo Salah is uh, on his international duty with Egypt and we have Endo and Diego Jota with injuries. Do we have what it takes to win this game away at Manchester City? I believe we do. We're in good form. We only dropped three points all season away at Newcastle. Look at the league table. They sit fourth with 45 points while we have 57. Well, 30 minutes has passed and no highlights at all so far. A boring game. I guess uh, the defenders are doing their jobs. Even though uh, Virgil van Dijk is on a 6.5 and on a yellow card, we lose the ball here. Walker to Kovacic. Somebody block him. Korea. Holland, what a good opportunity there. We got away with it. Yeah, we have McAllister and van Dijk on yellow cards. That's not good. And Virgil van Dijk is on a 6.4 now. The only one that seems to really play okay it's Trent. He's on a 7 rating. He's folded to Holland, also on a yellow card. Come on, block him. Gets a cross in. Robertson was there. Here is Gakpo. Chance for a counter attack, maybe. He loses the ball. Jesus Christ, it's still their highlight. Kovacic. Ooh, what a good opportunity there. And we got away with it. Yeah, it's nil nil at half time. Our shooting has not been good enough. That's right. Let me just tell Virgil van Dijk and McAllister to calm down. Here we go, just 30 seconds into the second half and we get a highlight, Walker to Kovacic. If we can get the ball back, please, Kovacic gets a cross in for Haaland! He's the post, still Haaland! And the highlight, please. Just end it. Free kick now. Please end the highlight, don't show me the free kick. Oh, they're gonna show me the free kick. It was for Holland, and that's the end of the highlight. Thank God we got away with it once again. They had six shots or two on target. We had four. Right, 20 minutes remaining. Maybe it's time to make some substitutions. Van Dijk is on a 6.5 and he's nervous. I'm bringing in Joe Gomez. I trust the guy. Luis Diaz is also nervous. I'm not gonna bring in Elliot. Yeah, not such a great bench for this type of game. However, I'm bringing in Gavi. For Cody Gakpo, I'm going to move him as a box-to-box -box and Ryan Gravenberch is going to play Zamzala while Dominic Zloboslai is going to take Gakpo's place. Friend with a throw-in, here's Gravenberch. 
Luis Diaz now. Luis Diaz for Gavi. Oh my word, so close. They were lucky now. That would have been such an important goal. Well, time is flying by. We had no shot at all on target. Eight shots overall. Here's uh, Grealish for uh, Manchester City with a cross for Ruben Diaz. Alvarez back to Walker. Come on, block him. Jesus, nobody's there. Good job. We're one nil down. Nunez scores for uh, Manchester City. With just a few minutes remaining from the game, I believe it's done the way this game played with not too many highlights. And we got Luis Diaz injured. Harvey Elliott is going to take his place. It's a well-deserved win for Manchester City. They kind of controlled the game. We only had one opportunity for Gavi, but he didn't hit the target. Our best performer, McAllister. Well, we lost the second leg away at Cardiff 2-0. I blame it on complacency. Here's the first 11 that's gonna face QPR in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Kelleher, Timikas, Van Dijk, Matip, Gomez, Gravenberch, Gavi, Elliot, Jones, Diaz and Gakpo up front. I'm gonna use Van Dijk because I believe he's going to be suspended for the game away at Chelsea. Mo Salah came back from his international duty but the guy needs a rest. You'll probably get to see him play against Chelsea. And uh, I also had to drop Bradley, Doak and Bayetic because I forgot they were available for the under-21 as well and uh, they're really tired. This should be an easy enough game. We have uh, some good players on the pitch combined with some uh, backups. We should be fine. First highlight, it's a throw-in for QPR. They lose the ball though. He's Gravenberg now. Back to Virgil van Dijk. Timikas. Timikas is having a fine season. Maybe even a little bit better than Robertson. Timikas. Virgil van Dijk. Gravenberg. Shoot mate. He takes his shot. He's the crossbar. Good opportunity there. Timikas now. Back to Gavi. Timikas. No, Jones. And that's probably the end of the highlight. No, good opportunity here. But uh, nicely done from Gomez. I'm recording this just uh, two days after Liverpool managed to qualify um, to the quarterfinals of the League Cup. 2-1 away at Burnmouth. And I believe uh, we're favourites now to win that trophy. Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz. Oh, what a good dribble. Gakpo blocked. Elliot couldn't get to the ball. He's grabbing Burch now. Elliot. Elliot. Good save. Yeah, so there's a pretty good chance we're going to win it. Of course, uh, there's still uh, Newcastle and Chelsea. They've been drawn against each other in the quarterfinals. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance uh, we can at least make it to the final. Here's Timmy Cast to Virgil van Dijk. Of course, we are controlling the ball. Gomez to Luis Diaz. Gravenberg. Gravenberg to Jones. That was poor. Here's Van Dijk to Timikas. Timikas. Jones. Jones to Luis Diaz. Blocked. Good defending there. Luis Diaz once again. It smells like a goal. Gomez to Timikas. 1-0. Come on, Timikas. Yes, mate. Like I said, seemed a little bit better than Robertson in uh, this season. In this save. And that's uh, his first goal of the season. Timikas takes a corner now. For Virgil van Dijk. Close but wide. Of course, we're controlling the game. Uh, 15 shots, now 16. 7 on target. No shots at all for QPR. Great possession as well. Gravenberg. Another good save from the goalkeeper. And uh, Jones recovers the ball. That's the end of the highlight. Should I play for set pieces? I don't know. Timikas takes another corner. Matip was there over the bar. Five more minutes to go until half time. We're in front, but just 1 nil. We should have scored at least uh, one more. Timikas takes another corner. Luis Diaz this time over the bar. Well, we're taking our corners. We're getting to those crosses, but just 1 nil at half time. You're capable of better things, boys. Come on. Nine shots on target. Their goalkeeper is having a great day, 7.4. Timikas takes another corner. 
We're gonna get to it. I'm pretty sure Virgil van Dijk and his 2 0. Come on, that's more like it, boys. Archer takes a goal kick for QPR. Oh my word, that was lovely. That was lovely. What a lovely move from QPR here. I'm gonna see it again. I really enjoyed this. Look at that. Nice flick on. Nice header there. And Dykes scores 2 1. So simple. Here we go again, Jones, Elliot, let's make it free boys, Gavi, Gavi back to Virgil van Dijk, here's the Matip, Gravenberg to Elliot, takes his shot over the bar though, let's make some substitutions, I'm gonna bring in uh, Darwin Nunez for Cody Gakpo, I should rest Luis Diaz as well for the game against or Chelsea, so Ben Doak is coming in, even though he's uh, tired. Let's bring in Connor Bradley. No, no. McAllister for Ryan Gravenberg, and that's all. A chance maybe to equalize here for QPR. Matip was there, Virgin van Dijk to McAllister, and now there's a pretty good chance we'll get a uh, counter-attack. Here's Timikas, Timikas in the penalty area. Timikas goes all the way, are you kidding me? And... He assisted Jones. Such altruism from Timikas here. He kept his cool and he assisted Jones, who had an open goal. Other players would have probably lost their heads and just went for the shot, but not Timikas though. This is his game. Kelleher now with a, a goal kick. Taking short to Virgil van Dijk, McAllister to Gavi. To Elliot. Now Doak. Doak scored again uh, against Cardiff in that 7-0 in the first leg. Jones. Jones. Gets past his man, gets a good cross in and Darwin Nunez scores. Once again, he had to score his 23rd goal of the season. Yeah, and uh, we're just in January. I believe he's gonna get to 40 by the end of the season if he doesn't get uh, injured or one throwing for qpr we had our share of highlights in this one lots of them lots of goals compared to the previous game that one nil defeat away at city kelleher are we going to score again timikas man of the match from my point of view and uh, yeah he's on a 9.2 rating what a run he had for that uh, Third goal, Doak over the bar. The last few moments of the game, a late highlight, maybe. Maybe a red card here. Yeah, it's a red card. It doesn't matter. We do get a late highlight now. It's probably the last few seconds. McAllister to Doak. Doak. That's number 5. 5-1, five, Ben Doak scored his third of the season. What a great game we had on our hands. Of course, we scored 5, we controlled the entire game and it was quite easy. Look at this pass from McAllister here. That was special. 5-1. Yeah, a good game. Don't get... No, I'm not gonna tell them that. Yeah, you blown them away. Great job. Like I said, Virgil van Dijk is suspended for this game away at Chelsea, but fortunately for us, Mo Salah is up to the task. So we'll have Alisson, Robertson, Matip, Konate, Trent, McAllister, Gravenberg, Soboslai, Diaz, Salah and Nunez, Diogo Jota still injured. Here's Chelsea first 11 with James, Thiago Silva, Silavia, so is Caicedo. Yeah, interesting first 11 for Chelsea. Madueke was there on the right. Is this a rivalry match? I believe it is. Chelsea sit 6th in the league, 49 points. We're 18 points ahead of them. We should win this game and we get ourselves a kick of highlight. Soboslai to Mo Salah. Mo Salah does well there. He's uh, in the penalty area. Tries Mo Salah, he's the post. Darwin Nunez is there and just 16 seconds in. And Nunez scored his 24th of the season, 1-0 away at Chelsea on Stamford Bridge. 
Chilwell with a throw in Lavia. Caicedo to Gallagher. They don't really have such a strong midfield. Yes, Caicedo is great in FM. Matip. But Lavia is young. Gallagher not that great. It's our Curtis Jones. Gallagher. From my point of view, Darwin Nunez. What a save there from uh, who's in goal for Chelsea. Sanchez. Okay. So Bozlai takes a corner. So Bozlai to Konate. Good defending there. Luis Diaz. And that's the end of the highlight. Well, so was like to Canuck. He wants to come off. I'm going to keep him for now. McAllister to Gravenberg. Good defending there from James. Luis Diaz. He has passed his man. Luis Diaz. You should have looked for the past, mate. Yeah, he's getting better. So was like. I'm going to keep him at least till half time. Look at this. We're dominating Chelsea. Actually, they do have possession, but look at the shots. We're approaching half time. Well, I'm going to replace Soboslai at half time. He's on a 6.5. He's not at his best. And he took that knock. You're capable of even better. Leah, let's bring in Gavi for Soboslai and switch him around with Gravenberg. Robertson takes a corner. It's Konate hits the crossbar. Jesus. I expect at least a highlight for Chelsea until the end of the game. But who knows? Mo Salah is getting tired. So is Luis Diaz. I'm not going to sub them off for now. Here's uh, probably the first highlight when we see Chelsea in attack. James to Chalobah. Here's uh, Madweke to Jackson. Block him, please. Chill well. Yeah, we should have scored that second goal in the first half. Now, uh, I'm afraid they're going to equalize Luis Diaz now. Yeah, we get the ball back. A good chance for a counter-attack. Look at Luis Diaz go even though he's tired. To Darwin Nunez. Make it two, please. Yes, come on. A brace from Darwin Nunez away at Stamford Bridge. Come on, people. And now he's on his hat-trick. And he has time. What a run here from uh, Luis Diaz. Even though he is quite tired. Good assist for uh, Darwin Nunez. Lucky because it was deflected but it doesn't matter. 2-0. Let's praise them. Maybe I should sub off uh, Mo Salah. Matip got injured. Jesus. And Kunku for uh, Chelsea. Here's Thiago Silva to Lavia. Now Chilwell. Don't let them get back into the game just minutes after we scored. Please. Away. Jesus Christ. It's 2-1, Cole Palmer. I'm going to sub off Joel Matip, who's injured. With uh, Joe Gomez. Yeah, Cody Gapko is replacing Mo Salah. And I'm going to switch him with Luis Diaz. Konate and Trent are not doing okay. 6.4, 6.3 now, actually, for uh, Konate. No more subs. Well, actually, I can make some, but... We don't really have... Uh, we have Gomez already on the pitch. I'm not going to bring in Bradley for uh, Trent. Not in this game. Konate now. Look at him go on the right. Don't lose the ball. Luis Diaz, Gravenberg, McAllister. Shoot! Shoot, mate! Yes! Come on! It's 3-1 and it's done. They're not getting back into this game. Their hopes and dreams are over. 3-1 away at Chelsea with 10 more minutes remaining. Yeah, Luis Diaz gets subbed off and Elliot is coming in. Another good game from uh, Luis Diaz. Not that great from Trent or Konate, but Konate did all right for that third goal. 20 shots, 11 on target, compared to only 5 on target for Chelsea. Even though they controlled possession, look at that. We only had 36% possession and we've managed to score three. Darwin Nunez, the best performer with two goals. Well, here's something I really didn't want it to see. We're going to be facing Manchester United away from home in the fifth round of the FA Cup. So next episode, I'll be back for the final of the League Cup. It's against Bournemouth, so we should win it. This game away at Manchester United in the FA Cup. And I guess Manchester City once again. Why not? Well, that's about it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please 
subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and leave me a comment. It would really help me out. I'll see you guys for the next one.